Okay, let's start. Any, I'll be starting with atoms today. Some questions of atoms. Let us practice. Uh, let me share the question with you. This is a question from J. May 2014. All right. Write down the question. I'll discuss it. All right, this says that hydrogen, deuterium, singly ionized helium, and doubly ionized lithium all have one electron around the nucleus. Consider an electron transition from n is equal to 2 to n is equal to 1, means from the second state to the ground state. If the wavelengths are lambda 1, lambda, lambda 1, lambda 2, lambda 3, and lambda 4, respectively, which one of the following is correct? You have to be aware of this because sometimes the question says to write the incorrect order. Look, if I talk about the first one, let's say 1 by lambda. Uh, 1 by lambda is actually what? See, red works constant into z square. This is 1 square by minus 1 by 2 square because this is from n is equal to 2 to n is equal to 1, right? This is it. So it means this is this. What? How can I write this? I can write this as 3 by 4 r z square. Do you get this? How? 4 minus 1, 3, 3 by 4. So 1 wavelength is equal to this. So that we can get the relation of the first one. Now, for the first one, that is for hydrogen, z is equal to 1. So, 1 by lambda 1 would be 3 by 4 r into, instead this will be 1 square which is 3 by 4 r. Correct? Coming to the second. 1 by lambda 2 when we are talking about. This one, when we are talking about 1 by lambda 2, this is 3 by 4 r into what is the second one? Deuterium. Okay, for the deuterium also, we have the same, 1 square. All right. Come to lambda 3. 1 by lambda 3. 3 by 4 r. What is the next element that we have? Singly ionized helium. That is z is equal to 2. So, this becomes 2 square. Understood? Now, when we are talking about lambda 4, 
1 by lambda 4. This is equal to 3 by 4 R into what is the last one? Lithium. Lithium is 3. This is 3. So we can write this as 3 squared. Now look at their relation. Now look at all of their relations. You know 1 by lambda 1 is equal to 1 by lambda 2 which is equal to 1 by 4 times lambda 3 which is which is equal to 9 by lambda 4. So lambda 1 is equal to lambda 2 is equal to 4 lambda 3 is equal to 9 lambda 4. This is how you have to solve. Which option? C? C option. Yes, ma'am. C. Uh, write it quickly. Some more good questions from J means I'll discuss. Okay, ma'am.
this is hydrogen this is the second question uh, this is also from j only i'll be writing the options here just tell me which of the option is correct See, this says that if one were to apply Bohr's model to a particle of hydrogen, mass m and charge q moving in plane under the influence of magnetic field B, energy of the charged particle in the nth level would be. C. When we are talking about angular momentum, mvr, this is equal to nh by 2 pi. This you already know. One more thing. I have told you that the centripetal force is being balanced by the Lorentz force QVB. We know this equation. So, velocity, velocity will be cancelled. From here, you can write MV by R is equal to Q into V. Now, uh, look, if we uh, multiply both of these, MV we have uh, this as MVR and we have this MV divided by R. So, if we multiply, this RR would be cancelled. Look what we'll get. If we'll multiply both the terms, MVR into MV by R is equal to NH by 2 pi into QP. 
if we will multiply, we will get this. See, R, R would be cancelled. This would be M square. V square is equal to NH QB by 2 pi. So, from here, anything getting cancelled? Anything? Uh, let's do one thing. See, instead of multiplying this as M square, I am still writing this as m into m. Now see, if I bring this m in the denominator, this will look like mv square is equal to nh qb by 2 pi m. Right? Now look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We have to uh, write about the energy. So it means we have to get in, into our system the kinetic energy. So kinetic energy is equal to half mv square. So, to get mv square here, we have to make this also as half. So, half mv square would equal to nh qb by 2 pi m into half. So, to match the option, see n was kept aside, h qb was, was kept together, 4 pi m. Any option like this, nh qb by 4 pi m. First option only. Right? Yes, sir. This is clear? Yes, sir. All right. Write down the solution.
See, this says that a diatomic molecule is made of two masses M1 and M2, which are separated by a distance R. If we calculate its rotational energy by applying Bohr's rule of angular momentum quantization, its energy will be N is an integer given by out of all these, which one is the correct? See, uh, firstly, you have to understand that a moment of inertia, when we are talking about moment of inertia of a diatomic molecule. When we're talking about the moment of inertia of a diatomic molecule about its center of mass whenever we are calculating. So see, uh, in such question uh, questions, uh, we have the formula as I is equal to M1, M2 by M1 plus M2 into R square. That's the formula. What is M1 uh, multiplied to M2? Look, this is already, uh, this you must have done it your rotational dynamics in your class 11. So when you have M1 into M2 by M1 plus M2, this is the reduced mass of the atom. It's the reduced mass of the atom. Now see, when we are talking about the rotational kinetic energy, when we are talking about the rotational kinetic energy, this is half I omega square. I is the moment of inertia, omega is the angular velocity. So this is equal to half I, moment of inertia, see, omega is equal to L I. Uh, so this becomes uh, um, uh, L is equal to I omega. L is equal to I omega. So from here, omega can be written as L divided by I. So this can be written as L divided by I whole square. I, I will be cancelled. So this will be equal to L square by 2I. So this is equal to half NH by 2 pi whole square because it's L square, right? L square is written like this, angular mo uh, momentum quantization equation. And then for the moment of inertia, we have M1, M2, and in the numerator, this will go up as M1 plus M2. And what we are left with in the denominator, R square. So if you open up, this becomes M1 plus M2. This becomes N square, H square divided by, this is 8 because this is 4 into 2, 8 pi square, M1, M2, R square. This is the answer. So this is option D. Write it, write down the solution.